What's up everybody? Welcome back to another MWZ video. Today I'll be doing an in-depth guide on how the rarity level of your weapon affects its performance in MWZ. I'll be going over the damage increase between each rarity level and showing you what that looks like with actual in-game proof of these increases to the weapon damage. Now you might ask, why would anyone want to know what the damage increase of each rarity level is? Well, this video will show you what you get from each rarity level when you upgrade a weapon to that respective level to help out anyone that has ever wondered just how much more effective your gun is when you use any of the ether tool upgrades on it. And there is actually a few things I discovered while making this video and testing each of the rarity levels that I'm sure some, if not most of you watching this, might not have known about before. But that's enough small talk, let's get into this trivial video on how weapon rarity works in MWC. So to start off with, everyone knows by now that legendary rarity is obviously the best to get because it gives you the most amount of additional damage increase. However, have you ever wondered what the actual benefit of having legendary rarity on your gun is? And what is the difference between legendary damage increase and just the epic level damage increase? Well, interestingly enough, you can actually find out the amount of damage increase you're getting from each level by simply using the mystery box in game. When you receive a weapon from it, it will display the rarity level of the weapon as well as how much of a damage bonus you get from that rarity level, as well as the number of random attachments it comes with based on the level of the rarity. This rarity damage increase is given for each level with Uncommon Rarity providing a 50% increase to the base damage, Rare Level Rarity giving a 100% increase to the base damage, Epic Level Rarity giving a 200% increase to the base damage, and finally Legendary Rarity giving weapons a huge 300% increase to the base level damage. With most MWZ players not using the mystery box very often or even at all during their game, this bit of information is almost entirely missed by the average player. However, even knowing this now, it still doesn't help one understand the differences between the rarity levels besides knowing that legendary is still the best to have. But now it's time to show how these increases to damage from each rarity level actually look like while in the game. To show this, I used a base version of the MCW with absolutely no attachments or customization as a test weapon. As you can see, there are no blueprints applied, attachments equipped, or even any camos on the gun to ensure that there is no unexpected changes to the weapon's damage profile. Here is a look at the stats for this weapon. And here you can see this gun does a base level of 34 damage per shot. However, this is its base damage within its effective damage range, which its base range is 26.7 meters. Knowing this, I could expect to see a damage drop off past that distance, so I had to test the damage increases within that distance. So for my in-game testing, I used this stripped down base version of the MCW to shoot a zombie once at around 10 meters to hold as much consistency as I possibly could. Now that I'm in game, I started off with an MCW that actually has no rarity level or what you could call a base level or a common level rarity. Either of which just means it has no damage increase from the rarity level. This rarity is only attainable by starting the game with the weapon, picking weapons up dropped by most mercenary AI, or doing the gravestone easter egg which strips all upgrades from your weapon including the rarity level. But as you can see here, this base rarity does a mediocre amount of damage to a low threat level zombie. And this is with an uncommon rarity applied now. A rare level rarity now. epic level rarity now and finally with the legendary rarity applied to it
The difference in damage may be hard to compare when in separate instances, but when you compare the health bars of the zombies after being hit with each rarity level, the difference is quite noticeable. And this is just a difference in the damage for body shots where there is very little or no multiplier for damage either. Going for headshots would significantly boost damage without having any rarity applied. Then to add the rarity would exponentially increase the damage to a zombie. Then going even further you could add the pack-a-punch upgrade on top of all of this as well for the massive boost to damage from your weapon that you typically get from a triple packed legendary rarity weapon. So now we see how much of a difference each level of weapon rarity can make in terms of damage being dealt to the zombies by your weapons. This is actually more of a difference than I previously thought there was as I was under the assumption that each level simply added an additional 50% increase to damage until you reached legendary which then the increase was an additional 100% bonus. But now seeing the real difference helps me know how much of a bonus I get from uncommon, rare, epic and legendary upgrades and that they're not all of an equal increase. In fact, it actually shows that the uncommon rarity is not really much of a damage upgrade, whereas legendary is an even bigger upgrade than most of you might have ever thought before. Anyways, this was my test results on weapon rarity levels and a quick guide on how each one affects your weapons in game. Hopefully you found this to be helpful or at least an interesting bit of information. And if you did, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe because I may or may not have more content coming where I'll be testing more things in MWC like this. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.